How's it going everybody? Trevor Randall's Outdoors Auto here today. And today we are out in the woods. It's the second week of April, you guys. It should be the start of morel mushroom season here in central Iowa. So I'd like to just make this quick video for some of you newer mushroom hunters out there and hopefully share what I look for in early season morel mushroom spots and hopefully help put you guys on some of the mushrooms. So come with me and let me show you a few things to keep an eye out for and let's find some mushrooms hopefully. So one of the first things I'm gonna mention that you wanna keep an eye out for, if you are early in the timber looking for different spots, um, look for these guys. Hopefully you guys can see them. These are May apple stems. If the May apples are popping up, you guys, even if they're just short, you are right around the corner with mushroom season. Morels and May apples dang near go hand in hand most of the time. So definitely keep an eye out. If you're out in the timber and you notice May apples around, uh, slow down and really look for some morels because most of the time they're going to be just popping up and really small and they can be hard to see as well so but a lot of the stuff i like to look for you guys especially starting out in the season i've got a hillside here so i hit this hillside every single year it's been a very good early uh season producer for me gets a lot of the sun and a lot of the heat throughout the day and it has some nice ground cover but not too much a lot of the tree cover lets a lot of the sunlight in, so it heats up really nicely. So it's one of my first areas I like to target for morels. So south-facing hillsides are areas that get a lot of sun. Not too much leaf clutter, but you want some, obviously. A few dead trees around will help as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking. I might be off camera. I might go through a few tips and tricks that I have and a few other things that I like to look for, especially for early season morels. So this, this video might be a little bit hodgepodge together, unfortunately, but we're gonna make the best of it and I hope it helps some of you guys because here in central Iowa, it's gonna be up to 80 degrees this coming weekend and the mushrooms are going to be popping, you guys. Uh, definitely get out, definitely try to find some. Those grays are gonna be up and they're so much fun to find. They're just so hard to see sometimes, you guys, so you really have to pay attention. But I'm gonna go ahead and scan this hill some, see if I can find anything and move on through. I got a few other areas that are in this uh, general spot that I'm gonna check while I'm here. And then I'm gonna have to get going home and get some sleep, cause I didn't get much sleep yesterday. So, got off work this morning and I decided I was gonna go mushroom hunting. But, let's get to it and I'll see if I can find any. So here's one of the things I like to look for early season, and especially any time during the season, but early season especially. You wanna check and see where the sun is coming through all the tree cover. And I like to look at moss covered areas, you guys. A lot of times those moss covered areas, they'll track the heat, they'll uh, hold moisture. And even when it's a dry year, you can still get a decent amount of mushrooms just looking for stuff like that. So that is definitely a good area to target. If you see any clearings in the trees and there's areas that the sun is shining down on the, the forest floor definitely check that out because that's going to be where all the heat is and it could be bringing up mushrooms right in that location but i've got a spot just over here that's going to be a hill with some moss on it i want to go check it out real quick all right guys been walking for about 45 minutes now finally found the first morel check it out Actually, eh, um, nope, that's not morale. When they're that small, it's hard to tell. But that is the first morale, you guys. Little teeny tiny guy. So, definitely a little bit early. This is, uh, I don't know. The weather seemed like it was good, so that's why I wanted to get out. This is my second time out so far this year, and I was out last week as well, but it was definitely way too early last week. Pretty chilly still. But we got some nice warm temps coming up this weekend, and I think we're going to be in some decent gray morel mushroom season here in central Iowa. So I'm going to back out of here. Uh, I haven't really seen too much. This is one of my early spots I like to check out. Uh, it's got a lot of this moss-covered area, and right now, it doesn't have a lot of sun hitting it, but usually in the mornings it does really good for sun. 
and I think that's part of the reason why the mushrooms like it and they'll pop up here uh, pretty much the last four years for sure and it's usually my early spot one of them anyways all right you guys I'm gonna have to uh, try to zoom this in there's a tom turkey 20 yards in front of me you guys See if we can get closer. Beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this palm. It is turkey season, by the way. It opened up yesterday. There he is. Right there. Look at his head. I think it's the only one. She doesn't seem too scared of me. That's awesome. I was wondering if I'd find some wildlife today. So far, squirrels and turkey. the hill above me. Here's some hens. Looks like one dom, two hens. Oh, there's a fourth bird. Sorry, it's a little too far for you guys to see. I am working on a bigger camera at some point. That'll be pretty cool because I can be able to show you guys some of the further away shots instead of what the GoPro can do. Be pretty cool if I get him to gobble. Something I really like about being out here and just seeing the wildlife and all the nature. Oh shoot, the one behind me didn't leave. Make sure he's not gonna come up and try to mate me. <laughs> yeah, he's halfway up the hill right here. You guys won't be able to see him though. Bet you guys didn't know I could speak turkey, huh? I can talk to squirrels too. All right, that's enough. Now only if I could speak deer. 
All right, let's get back to looking for some mushrooms, guys. A few other quick tips I have that can help you out. If you have some uh, timber that you frequent quite often that you like to walk, this is the perfect time, you guys. Either bring a couple extra grocery bags with you or use your morel mushroom bag and you clean up a lot of the garbage that's out there in the timber. Now be careful what you pick up because some stuff can be dangerous. You don't know what might be in a container or anything like that. So definitely use caution as you're picking up garbage. But it's a great way to clean up your area that you like to mushroom hunt. And also something that you guys might not think about, people use the garbage to mark their locations that they found mushrooms, especially from previous years. So a lot of times they can't remember the trees or anything like that. So they put garbage down on the ground and mark the location so by you picking up that garbage may also help you find more mushrooms later on in the season. Keep that in mind. Another extremely helpful tip that I have for you guys, uh, I like to use OnX, but use a some sort of GPS pin app if you can on your phone. Because a lot of times you find these mushroom spots, especially if you're walking new timber, you'll find these spots and then you'll get turned around and you'll never remember how to get back to them a lot of times you can but not always so definitely use a gps pin and don't share it with anybody at all you guys so just remember a tool like onyx is extremely helpful being able to pin those gps locations and be able to get right back to where you were at before especially if you find a, a cluster of mushrooms and stuff that come back every single year you guys it's extremely helpful all right you guys i am on my walk out uh, I did forget to mention, make sure that you treat your clothes with Sawyer Permethrin. I have a video I just did last week of the product I use, which is, what, like I said, Sawyer Permethrin and how I use it. And I'll tell you what, guys, it has helped me so much more with ticks. Uh, definitely something to look into if you haven't already. Do it for yourself, do it for your kids. And uh, protect yourself against all the diseases that ticks can give. So check that out but uh, a little bit early still yet you guys found that one morel that little teen tiny guy i mean that thing had to be less than half an inch tall really small morel extremely early so i know probably this weekend with those 80 degree days coming up we should have a decent uh morel season start I can't believe I'm even early right now, but like I said, second week of April, normally I find them in the first week of April in this location. That's all right though, every year is different. And as long as we can get some moisture and not too hot too soon, we are gonna be covered in morels in no time. So I hope this video has been extremely helpful to some of you guys and keep an eye on the channel and I will have update videos posted as well as on Facebook. I like to post a few updates on when I find morels on there as well. So I'll tell you what guys, it was pretty neat. I got to see some turkeys, got to see a coyote. Did see a rabbit, but didn't get in on camera. Uh, I always enjoy being out in the nature and seeing everything like that. Definitely, definitely a great outing either way. Got the one mushroom for sure. So we can come back in a few days and that thing will be probably grown and hopefully some more around it. So if you enjoyed the video and it's helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. That's a walleye. And she swallowed it. That is a monster.